Hello everyone, this is Prasad Reddy. Welcome back to SAP BTP. In the last video, I have discussed how to create a new user and assign roles to the new user and how to install Cloud Foundry command line interface and how to add your API endpoint of your sub account to the command prompt in your PC. If anyone does not watch my previous videos, please go and watch. I'll put the links in the comment section. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to create a connection between your BTP sub account and the cloud connector. So let's begin the video. In order to create a connection between your sub account and the cloud connector, you need to go to your the connectivity tab over here on the left hand side and you need to click on the destinations. Uh, you can see over your new destination the blank template will be open you need to give your name I'm giving Prasad and this is the URL this is that you need to give HTTPS the name the port this is the default port and you have to choose your proxy type whether it's for internet or the on-premise or private link I choose on-premise and the authentication is nothing but for your basic authentication you need to give your user and password user is db admin on save button you need, you can if you want you can add new properties also over here click on save button yeah after saving that you can see this details the name the basic properties the basic authentication and in the action tab you can edit you can export and you can check the availability of destination connection failure reason Backend status could not be determined. Why? Because you did not install the cloud connector. So now we are going to install the cloud connector. In order to install the cloud connector, you need to go to the tools.hana.ondemand.com. Don't worry, I will post the link in the comment section. You need to go to the cloud tab. You need to scroll down a little bit down. You can see over your cloud connector. So you need to download depending upon the operating system whether it's for Linux or for the Windows. You need to download for the Windows version this one. And you need to download the SAP JVM version also for the Windows. Actually I have already downloaded this too. So just give me a moment. Yeah, install it directly. You need to run. It's preparing to install next next this is the default port 8443 you need to browse the jvm file uh, actually uh, i have already created this you need to give this the supporting jvm over here next next it's ready to installation yes the cloud connector has been successfully installed now close to exit now what you need to do is you need to go to the local host and the default port which is given by SAP cloud connector so HTTP yes local host 8443 yeah the username is administrator password is manage by default now you can you need to give your current password that is manage and you, now you can change your password of the administrator
this is the mask to primary insulation save see this is the interface the connector alerting high availability the define sub account we need to define is your sub account and cloud to on permis and on permis to cloud log and trace files can be seen over here so now you are going to define the first sub account of yours what is your region what is our region this is our region right us east aws you need to give this and in sub account tab you need to give your sub account id what is your sub account id this is your sub account id go to your sub account see this is your sub account id need to give this sub account id in this cloud connector okay login email you need password save the symbol is disconnect if it is open the port it's connecting see it is connected if you want to disconnect click on this and the sub account over you this is the region host certificate the sub account id display name initiated by disaster recovery sub account tunnel information status see you can connect it is connected now you go back to your connectivity tab under connectivity tab you click on destinations you have created one destination right so you now you need to test that one click on the action tab S a failure reason why because the bacon is not available in the list of device defined system mappings in the cloud connector close so what you need to do is you need to do mapping so in order to do mapping click on cloud to on permis see this is the mapping virtual to internal system we see over here the place button click on that this is for backend system is abap system protocol is httpp and the internal host is nothing but your local host port is 8443 as you have given to the cloud connector and the virtual host is you have given the name right sat Hundred and port is eight thousand. Low principal propagation. Principal type is Kerberos. Use virtual host. Description next. Finish. now you can check the result whether it's connected or not see in the action tab there is a this is the check availability of internal host click on that see reachable now we go to your sub account click on the action tab and that check for the availability connection over here now it will be connected see connection to the pressure hundred is successful yes or no this is how you create connection between your btp sub account and in the cloud connector